Sponsored by Tech21. I've tested it. I've talked to it. I've shot it. I've shot with it. I've even broken it. In fact, the only thing I didn't do with one of last year's most important Android phones was review it. With OnePlus, you're usually going to end up talking about price, so let's just get there. Even at its discounted tag of $499, the 7T is too expensive, if what you want is affordability above all. At $399, Google's Pixel 3a is still the best value you can find in mobile in the States. To make things more confusing, OnePlus has also aggressively discounted its 7 Pro. And if you live overseas, of course, you have more affordable options from brands like Xiaomi, Realme, and Honor. Here's the thing, though. With the exception of the Pixel, I'd pick the OnePlus 7T over all of those. No, not because of the specs, which are prodigious, but ultimately overkill for most folks. And no, not because of the looks, which, though distinguished, are less flashy than I like. Now, I'd recommend the 7T because it's one of the most cohesive and consistent smartphones you can get. The instant you pick it up, the thought that went into this thing becomes apparent. The glass is cool to the touch, like metal, but the matte surface is almost soft, like a nice soft-touch plastic. It's still brittle like glass, though. Stay tuned. Drop your thumb on the fingerprint sensor, and it's startlingly fast, easily the best in a world of sluggish and unreliable underscreen sensors. The Oxygen OS launcher that flares into place next is as clean and snappy as it's always been. The 90 Hz refresh rate it's delivered in is something I admit I can't always notice, but it's nice gravy on top of an already smooth serving. Especially since it doesn't seem to impact the battery life, which for me can last two days if I'm conservative. And thanks to Warp Charge, the recharge speeds are some of the fastest you can find. But still, as a man with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wireless chargers between home and work, and a phone inventory that mostly supports Qi charging, the fact that this phone doesn't is frankly just ridiculous. You don't need nine chargers. You just need enough to get used to them, whether at home or at the Starbucks down the street or at your local airport. And every time you drop your otherwise awesome phone on top of one only to remember it's not compatible, you feel slighted. I asked CEO Pete Lau about this when OnePlus showed off its concept phone at CES, and his answer was that wireless charging isn't fast or consistent enough. We've heard that before. But he also said that the company is indeed working on it. The other low point of the OnePlus experience has always been the camera. But after five months of updates and some crucial education by fellow reviewer Danny Winget, I'm much happier with this triple shooter than I was at launch. First, let's be crystal clear. If you're buying a value phone for the camera, there's still no better choice than the Pixel 3a from Google, presumably the 4a when and if it launches. And I know you've heard this one before. Don't buy a piece of technology based on promises about tomorrow. Buy it for what it can do today. Back in September, OnePlus promised the 7T would get two features not included at launch, 4K video on the ultra-wide camera and super slow motion. It's delivered on the former, thank you, but not the latter, not yet. Hey, while we're talking about video, let's learn something about why samples from this phone and some others look so bad when you take them off the phone. Danny? What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I want to explain why your OnePlus 7T Pro video looks like this when you're playing it back on your device, but then when you share it or you take it off and play it on your computer, it looks like this. The colors are jacked. There's a much more in-depth explanation for this, but basically what's happening is that the OnePlus 7T shoots HDR video like many other flagship phones do, capturing more colors in the wider Rec 2020 color space. And unlike Samsung and some other manufacturers, OnePlus is not converting this video back into the Rec 709 colors when it's being exported. So it's not the camera sensor, it's not the processor, it's basically just software processing. In fact, I can just put this into Final Cut Pro and convert it back into Rec 709 color space. And whoo, it is so much better. I look like a normal human being again. Saturation looks better, everything looks better. So it can definitely be fixed by software. This conversion in fact already happens on the phone. That's why when you play it back on the device, it looks so good. It just needs to happen on the final file that you can export to view on your computer. But OnePlus is not the only manufacturer that does this. LG actually does the exact same thing. So if you notice their video, same qualities. And just up until now, Huawei was doing this too. 
Okay, so enough of this. Let's go back to the handsome guy. Now, I didn't just have Danny on for the compliments. This guy knows camera science better than I ever will. So be sure to give him a follow while you take in some weirder than usual Brooklyn scenery that I shot on exercise walks during the COVID-19 quarantine of 2020. Now, I sure wish OnePlus did the proper color conversion itself, because for a user who doesn't want to do the conversion work, the end result is going to be the same screwed up colors when they go to share a video. Hopefully, Google will provide some guidance on this to Android manufacturers going forward. Wrapping up the camera, it's nice that you have the option to make use of the wide-angle shooter as a macro lens for super close-ups, even though the focus is still kind of dodgy. And the very tricky-to-get-right night mode has improved significantly thanks to updates. I'd still take a pixel for the fire and forget reliability, but on the whole, the 7T has a camera that I think most folks would appreciate and enjoy. My final thoughts on the phone, including a bug I never would have noticed were it not for that quarantine life after this. How'd I break that first 7T? Well, I dropped it off a bin. Bam, Shattertown, USA. If you're similarly inept at existence, consider a case from my sponsor, Tech21. They've got the best drop protection you can ask for, they're made from plant-based materials, and there's antimicrobial protection built into the case itself. Plus, you can swap out the button colors. Fun! Save 10% when you click the link in the description below and use code MrMobile10. If you watched my recent video called Mr. Mobile Stays Home, you'll remember that I urged you to call your friends and family to catch up during some of the free time you might now have. Now, if you don't make those calls on a Starfleet communicator, you might notice that the 7T isn't great at knowing that it's touching your face. See, most phones use an infrared light to determine when they're against your cheek so they can turn off the screen. The 7T tries to figure that out through software instead. Usually it's okay, but if you throw it a curveball, like cradling your phone against your shoulder while you're doing the laundry, well, get ready to accidentally mute yourself or hang up a lot. So if you don't want to or can't keep your phone firmly in hand during voice calls, use the speaker or Bluetooth. Both of those are excellent. And on the whole, so is the phone. Now listen, by most accounts, the next generation OnePlus is probably just around the corner. So I'd wait for that sequel to drop because I think this phone's price probably will too. But looking back on nearly half a year of on-again, off-again usage, the OnePlus 7T is one of the easiest Android recommendations I can make. And even if you tuned out before that bit about waiting for the price drop and bought it for the full $499 instead, well, there are many worse mistakes you could make. The OnePlus 7T is a smartphone that'll probably make you very happy. Thanks again to Danny Winget for taking the time to teach us a lesson. You should subscribe if you don't already. And if you'd like to see more reviews like this one, subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. Disclosure, I don't produce paid reviews. While OnePlus provided two review samples for this video, one of which I broke, the company did not afford compensation or receive an early copy of this review. They're seeing it for the first time right alongside you. Until next time, thanks for watching. And stay mobile, my friends.